In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these three progress bars for your fitness videos using CapCut Mobile. All right, guys, let's get started. So with the first method, open CapCut app and then tap on new project. Then tap on library, scroll down. We're going to use a green background for this. Just tap on it and click on add. I mean, tap on add. So I'm using green background color because I want this progress bar to be red. So always make sure the background color is different from the progress bar color. So with this, I can just stretch it and make it long. And one tip about this, always make it long as possible. So later on, you can use it for your videos or different projects. So with this tutorial, I can go for just 10 seconds, but I will recommend you to go for somewhere one minute or two minutes. Then let's click here to go back. We want to change the aspect ratio. I'm going to use this for YouTube videos. So I'm going to change it to 16 by nine and then click on the down. Now let's increase the green background to fill the whole screen. So I'm going to use my two hands to zoom in to fit the whole screen. Then tap on the back. Let's go to this side and tap on text. Then tap on add text. We're going to use underscore instead of dashes. So click on this to bring the underscore out. I can go for somewhere two or three. We're going to work on that later on. Then tap on styles. Let's change the color to red or any color you want to go for. Click on done. With the size, I can increase it a bit. 90 to 95 looks pretty cool. Then I can just drag it up to something like this. Click on done. Let's zoom out in the timeline, click on the text file, stretch here to start with this and let's stretch here to end exactly with this length too. So now we have something like this. We're going to export this file, but first of all, let's click on this side to bring the drop down menu. Let's take it to 1080p. I like leaving it at 1080p. Frame rate, I'm going to go for 24 frames per second. That's my normal frame rate I edit on. Then tap on export. Let's tap on done. And now we're going to create a new project. Just tap on it and select the video you want to use. So I'm going to use this video. Tap on the stream. I want to trim it to somewhere 14 seconds. Then tap on done. Tap on add and it's going to add to our timeline. Let's change the aspect ratio once again. Always make sure you change it. It's always going to create using the first video file, whatever file you imported. So with this, tap on aspect ratio. It's going to be a U2 format. So I'm going to go for 16 by 9 and tap on down. So now tap on overlay and tap on add overlay. Then you can bring in this very file that we exported earlier on. Tap on add. Let's increase that to fill the screen. We're going to work on this. Don't worry. Let's zoom out in the timeline. This was the length. You can see it's really short than this video. That's why I recommend you doing somewhere two minutes or three minutes and save it. Later, you can use it for any video project that you have. So now I need to trim this video down to make it the same length as the green screen file. Tap on it to make sure it's the same length. With that still selected, we're going to remove the green screen. Just scroll to the right, tap on remove background and tap on chroma key. So with this, just use this to select the green part of it and it's going to remove the green screen. Then intensity, we can increase it a bit and also the cleanup edges, you can take it to the right side to clean the edges of the red progress bar that we have. Then click on done. So with this progress bar, if you want it to be horizontal, you can just drag it to wherever on the screen that you want it to be. Also, if you want it to be vertical, you can just rotate it to something like this and place it next to your side, anyhow you want to use it. So with this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as horizontal. Then let's go back and now let's work with the animation. So with that selected, scroll to the right and tap on mask. We're going to use horizontal mask for this effect. Let's use our two fingers to rotate it to minus 90 degrees. Now just move this horizontal mask to the right side to take off all the progress bar, so something like this and tap on the keyframe icon on this very side. It's going to add a keyframe to that very side. Now let's just move it to the last but one frame somewhere here. So it's going to end with a video. Then I can just move the horizontal mask 
till everything show on the screen. I mean the progress bar show on the screen. So now when I go back like this and play and show you guys, you can see it's moved exactly with the video and it's going to end exactly with the video too. So this is okay, click on done. And to make this really nice, we're gonna work on the contrast. We wanna see the progress bar popping out on the screen. So I'm gonna show you guys one thing to do. Let's just go back, tap on add overlay, go to library, and then we're gonna use this black file. Just tap on add. Let's stretch it to fill the screen and move it to the very starting of this frame. With that selected, scroll to the right and tap on mask. Now tap on horizontal mask. Let's rotate it to minus 180 degrees. And let's bring it down to this side on the screen. And let me fade it in a bit using this icon and move it up to this very side on the screen. Now tap on done. And we want that to be the same length as the rest of them. So just tap on duplicate. It's gonna duplicate that file for you. We want it to be the same length as the rest of them. So let's trim the ending part. Now just select this file. We want to do the arrangement nicely, the layers. Tap on that, scroll to the right and tap on layers. Now let's put that to the front. It's going to come to the front and then tap on done. So now when I play and show you guys, you can see the black contrast below it and then also the red progress bar on top of it. And this makes it nicely for your audience or your viewers to see exactly the progress bar. So with the second method, just like we did earlier on, you do the green background and also the progress bar color you want to use and always make sure it's a different color than the progress bar. So I'm going to use red color for this. I already have it exported. So I'm going to export a new one. Just tap on text and tap on the text file. And with that selected, tap on style. I want to change this color to gray. So that's going to be one of the progress bar below the red one. It's going to be the same length as the red one. Always make sure it's the same length. Tap on done. And now let's tap on this, change it to 1080p and let's export this very file. Tap on done. So you open a new project with your video imported in the timeline. So just like we did earlier on, this is a video. I'm going to use the same video. Then tap on overlay and tap on add overlay. So I'm going to bring in the gray file first. Tap on that and tap on add. Let's stretch it to fit the screen. Let's move it to the beginning of this very timeline. Now let's take the green background off, just like we did earlier on. Go to remove BG, select chroma key, and use this to select the green parts. Increase the intensity a bit, and let's clean the edges up. Then tap on done, and let's go back. And go back once more. We're gonna add Overlay, tap on that. And this time around, we're going to bring in the red progress bar. Tap on that and tap on add. Let's press and hold and move it to the starting frame of it. With that selected, let's increase it to fold the screen exactly the same size as the gray one. Then let's remove the green screen. Tap on remove BG, chroma key. Let's use this to select the green part. Increase the intensity a bit and let's clean up the edges too. Now tap on that. So now depending on where you want the progress bar to be, make sure they are all at the same place. So I'm going to tap on the gray one and move it down. I want it to be just like earlier on down on this side of the screen. Then tap on the red one and let me move it to that very side too to cover the gray part. Now with the red one selected, we're going to use, let's go to the first frame of it. Let's go back, scroll to the right, tap on mask, and we're going to use horizontal marks for this once again. Rotate it to minus 90 degrees, just like we did earlier on. And let's take it to take off the red progress bar. Then drop a keyframe on that side. Now let's go to the last but one frame of it. And let's just move this to all the red progress bar show in the timeline. When I play and show you guys, you can see the red progress bar covers the gray color, making it look nice and clean. This third method was really fun creating it. So we already have our green background imported in the timeline. Tap on text and tap on add text. 
we're going to use underscore three times for this. Tap on this to drop it. Let me reduce it a bit. Then tap on styles. So we're going to start with the full color we want to use. So just like the previous tutorial, I want to use red color. So I can go for red. Tap on done. Let me make it a bit bigger. Then I'm going to export this just like we did earlier on. Let me make it the same length as the green screen. Go to this side, change it to 1080p and export this very file. Tap on done. Let's go back to that very project that we exported. So with this red one, now let's change that. Tap on text and tap on this test file. With the test file selected, let's tap on style so we can see all this out. Then tap on stroke. With the stroke color, I'm going to go for white. With the weight, I'm going to go to somewhere 8, depending on how big you want this to look like. So somewhere 9 looks pretty cool. Then tap on text. And now we're going to turn off the fill color. Just turn opacity down to 0. It's going to remove the fill color. And we're going to clean this up later on. Don't worry. There's two lines that it's crossing it. We're going to turn it off. Now tap on this down. And we're going to export this file. Go to 1080p and tap on export. Now tap on done and open a new project and import the video you want to use just like we did earlier on. Then tap on add overlay. We're going to bring this stroke version first. Tap on add. Increase that to fill the screen just like this. And we're going to take the green part out. So with that selected, Let's go to remove background, tap on that, tap on chroma key, use this to select the green part, increase intensity a bit, and let's clean up the edges. Now tap on down, and I want to make it the same length as the video, so tap and hold, bring it to this side. Now let's trim the ending part of it. So we have something like this, we're going to take this off now, so let's go to Scroll to the right and tap on mask. This time around, we're going to use rectangle mask shape for this. Let's tap on that. Let's stretch it to show all this side. So I can go to something like this and then I can bring it together. Something like this. Let's move it up. Now tap on invert and that's going to invert that marks. Now you can see it takes off these two strokes in the middle. Now tap on down and we clean it up nicely like this. Now let's bring in the second one. That's the red one. Let's go back. Tap on add overlay and tap on this red progress bar. Tap on add. We're going to take this green screen off. But first of all, let's zoom in to make it fill the screen so it's going to match exactly with the stroke one that we have now let's scroll to the right tap on remove background chroma key let's select the green part increase intensity a bit and then let's clean up the edges tap on done and now we're going to work with the animation let's go back scroll to the right and tap on mask just like we did earlier on tap on horizontal let's rotate it to minus 90. Then make sure you are on the first frame of it. Tap on the keyframe icon to add a keyframe and let's move it to take off the red progress bar. Now let's scroll to the forward and go to the last but one frame. Let's just move the horizontal marks to this very side so the red is gonna show. So now when I play and show you guys, it's gonna come in and fill this empty stroke that we have. When we're done with that, let's tap on done. And now you can place it wherever on the screen you want it to be. So with this, I just want it to be down here, just like earlier on. So I'm just going to move it. Make sure you don't move the X axis, just move it down. So it's going to move on the Y axis. Then I'm going to tap on this stroke file and place it exactly the same place. And now when you play, you have something like this, very nice and clean. Now, if you want to see more tutorials about CopCut Mobile, you can check on this playlist. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.